It's finals day out here at Audi Nines, and we collectively are hyped. The upside to going to the hospital in a helicopter is that you get to the hospital very fast. And if you need to go into uh, absolute emergency surgery, you're right there, you're ready to go. The downside is, once you get there, you're definitely the first person of your friends to be there. So I'm sitting here in this uh, hospital, kind of alone. It's a, it's a unique experience for sure. Uh, but I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful that I got such good people working on such good people on my team. I got my, uh, my personal surgeon, Dr. Cooper, back in the U.S., um, using all his connections and all his bandwidth to make sure that I'm going to get the right thing done. So I met the chief surgeon and got the chief surgeon to speak to my doctor, Dr. Cooper, on the phone. And um, both conversations went really well. Dr. Cooper was, com was comfortable, confident that the chief of surgery here was obviously competent. And uh, time, isn't, time isn't absolutely of the essence, but it's certainly something that we want to get fixed sooner rather than later. So. Uh, that decision's made. It's kind of weird making that decision by myself here, but um, obviously I'm connected through these devices and able to talk to everybody, but um, looks like I'm going into surgery. Here we go. Hopefully somebody I know will be here when I wake up. <laughs> Last video, guys. <laughs> I'm going in. Can't document anymore. Here we go. I got a great team and uh, looking forward to a good result. All right, I'm in the recovery room. I'm assuming that the uh, <laughs> surgery is over, but <clears throat> all I can tell you is that my leg hurts like hell and I have no idea what's going on. So uh, we, uh, yeah, apparently the things went well. So haven't seen my sister yet. Still feel like I'm on an island out here, but uh, here we go. I'm not the only American oh, no. in the room. <laughs> as soon as I got out of surgery, because I knew my sister was here before she even, before they even rolled me into surgery. So my first question was, where the f is my sister? <laughs> where is my sister? Uh, but this is my sister, Jessica, who happens to be a surgical resident. And uh, she's finally here. And ice is here. Yep, made it. So <clears throat> I'm no longer an island uh, on this crazy train getting surgery on my leg. So it's nice to have some, it's nice <laughs> to have some people back. I go to the hospital. Who are we gonna see? Daddy! Call him David. Tell him we're here. Find out where your husband is. It's 105 in Europe. Do you know where your husband is? <laughs> Hello. We are here. We are here. We are here. Oh, 
How's it going? I'm so happy to see Daddy. Dad. Mm. I love you. What's that thing for? Um, that's for when they need to put medicine in me. Oh. Or just goes straight into my blood. Oh. <laughs> I have four of them. You want to see the other four? Other three? <laughs> yeah. Oh. You sad? Mm hmm. Me too. Just a little. But Daddy's going to be all right. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see my cool scar? Yeah. Do you want to see the big gnarly cut? Mm -hmm. Is it scary? You'll think it's scary because it's big. You know what it means is that all the hard part is over and now it's just time for the recovery. So it starts in my hip and goes all the way down to just above my knee. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, you know, I just wanted to set a new record. We've been doing records lately. I wanted to set a new record for myself for how many stables I could get and how much hardware I could get in my body. I got all kinds of hardware that hangs around your neck, but now I got some uh, semi-bionic leg too. Dang, why is Dolan not the same? Um, because, so this one was the first one. That's the one that they put on me on the mountain when you guys were there, remember that? Yeah. And they gave me the medicine that made me go to the moon. <laughs> was I acting kind of crazy at the end there? That's Do you remember that? Was I acting kind of crazy at the end there? Mm-hmm, when you went screaming. Uh, I was all like, uh, uh, uh. And then this one they put in when we first got to the hospital. And this one's sealed up on its own. So then they put this one in here, and then this one's sealed up on its own. So then they settled on this one. And so this is where they've been giving me my medicine. But I guess they just leave them all in there. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But you can't walk still, Daddy? Dang. You just shell shock. Because you put your hand right on my broken bone when I we first walked up. I barely touched you. I didn't know what was wrong. Yeah, you, you just knew that I was hurt. And you put your hand right on that shard of bone that was broken. And I was like, ooh, that was a really bad choice. <laughs> That's the wrong spot. <laughs> but I forgive you. It was already broken. You didn't make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're fixed now. Yeah, they pinned me back together. Now I just gotta wait for my body to heal around the around the metal. Do you hear that? Funny. That's a funny one for you to watch. The funny thing is that like I was trying so hard to get to. Well, I'm in the recovery room, where I assume my sister Jess, who's a surgeon, or well, a surgical resident, was gonna be able to be when I got out of surgery, but she's not. So I gotta get through recovery before I can see her. So, here we go. Just another step. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, uh, trust me, I've thought about this stupid thing over and over and over again. I really had no intention of setting the record or breaking the record on that feature. I just wanted to hit it small to see how it feels. And I hit it small and I just left it awkward and that was that. What am I going to die? Just the wrong spot. I was telling Jess, if I had drifted one foot further this way, I would have landed really heavy on the top quarter pipe, bruised my heels, been pissed at myself, gone home, or whatever. If I had landed, one foot this way, I would have landed a little bit low on the normal quarterback. It'd been totally fine. 
but because I landed kind of right next to it, I could hit my Good. hip on the wall in the force of that heavy landing. That's what did. You hit your hip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to see the video? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's kind of brutal. I really, really wanted to go right down, but then I was just scared because they kept on sending other riders on the jumps, on the other jumps. Um, let's go down the side. But the side was kind of sketchy. <laughs> because it's all powder jumps. <laughs> what else are you supposed to say? Like, my femur is my broken my very badly. <laughs> my femur is clearly. Mine, Ubushank. My Ubushank. If the swelling in my leg goes down in the next couple days, then they're going to expatriate me, as they say, here in uh, Austria and send me back home to the US. So I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to that. I do love it here. It's beautiful, but I want to go home.